Did you know there was a baby bantha produced for the Star Wars vintage toy line? Well, there was, and I have one. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Kenner created a ton of vintage Star Wars toys for us to play with. We got a slew of action figures. We got ships. We got vehicles. We got play sets to play with. We even got little body rigs, little, little one-man vehicles. We got everything. Kenner even created beasts. That's right, we got some creatures. In the Star Wars original trilogy, a couple creatures were prominently featured and Kenner saw fit to give us a version of said creature. However, George Lucas tinkered with the original trilogy and released several iterations of his beloved movies and special editions and extra special, special, extra special editions and so on and so on. I'm sure you've seen one of those. Um, in one such iteration, we got baby banthas that's right uh there was a herd of baby banthas a herd of banthas i should say uh, cruising through the desert in one of these new added shots and well we didn't get a baby bantha from kenner but we did get one from stan solo that's right stan solo has done it again and released a miniature baby version of his epic bantha let's go check it out all right guys i'm excited to get into this the Baby Bantha was released several months ago. Um, I never got one. Kind of slipped through the uh, slipped through my fingers. And Bo over at Foxfire's Toys reached out to me. He um, was the gentleman that was kind of partnering up with Chris over at Stan Solo to sell these um, uh, by his own means through eBay. Chris was selling them on the website for Stan Solo and Bo at Foxfire Toys who's on Instagram, so give him a, a follow. He was selling them on eBay, so it was a partnership between the two. But Foxfire Tours reached out to me and asked me if I had one, and I told him I didn't have one, and he was nice enough to, to send one to me, so I'm super excited to check this little guy out. If you guys remember my review on the, uh, the Big Bantha, you guys know how awesome and extraordinarily cool that Bantha is. Guys, look at the size of this thing. Oh my word, look how small this guy is. He is tiny. Look at the scale, guys. He is no bigger than an action figure. Holy moly. They were not kidding when they said this was a baby Bantha. This is... I'm gonna, not going to lie, guys, this is the first time I'm going to say that a Star Wars toy is cute. <laughs> Stan Solo nailed it. This is a true represent, uh, scaled down representation of his life, you know, his life size, his uh, full scale uh, three and three quarter uh, adult Bantha, as I now have to call it, since how there is a baby Bantha. Um, this is just a little miniature version of that guy, minus the saddle, of course. This is awesome. I had no idea these things were this small. Um, the feet, the legs, of course, move. And unlike the adult Bantha, the, the head, the head moves. Check this out, guys. The head actually moves, so give you, giving it some character. You can kind of swivel the head around into a curious pose. Gosh, this thing is tiny. I'm just, wow. <laughs> oh my God. It is marked Stan Solo 2023. So again, these came out several months ago, back in 2023, available through the Stan Solo website originally, and also um, on eBay um, through Foxfire Toys. I will leave a link in the description down below for the eBay site because I know that last time I checked there were still some of these available on the eBay site only. Stan Solo has sold out of these things. These are no longer available through Stan Solo's avenues but you can go on the eBay site um, using the link that I will provide below and hopefully there's still a few left. Like I said, last time I looked, there was a few left. Big thank you to Foxfire Toys for reaching out to me on Instagram and sending this to me for my collection. He noticed that I didn't have one of these in my display and he wanted to rectify that. So 
Thank you so much, Bo. I really appreciate you sending this. I'm super excited to add this little guy to my collection. As, as you guys know, Kenner never made a Bantha, which is something that Chris over at Stan Solo fixed that glaring hole. He made an amazing Bantha. It's one of my personal favorites out of the Stan Solo line and just out of the vintage collection altogether. It's one of the coolest toys, period. Um, and so, of course, Kenner never, they, they only made those few beasts, the Wampa, the Tauntaun, the Rancor, and of course, the Dewback, let's not forget the Dewback. The Dewback is an incredible uh, beast. Tauntaun and the Dewback all feature the, um, both feature the trapdoor feature with uh, enabling you to be able to stick an action figure inside the creature. Um, and of course the Rancor does have the, the spring for the mechanism to open the jaw. But again, those were all, that was the whole line of creatures. Matter of fact, if you guys want, you should check out this video right here. This will take you to my creature review of all the Kenner creatures. But being able to add this little baby Bantha to the Kenner collection is a fun little treat. And guys, you know what time it is. It's time to put this baby with its mother, shall we? And here is my Bantha Landspeeder shell featuring the Stan Solo Bantha, one of my favorite toys in the entire collection. Absolutely an amazing item that fits in seamlessly into the Kenner line. And here we have the baby Bantha. Look how small that little sucker is. He looks great next to the adult version. Can't believe he's so cute. I never thought I would say that about a toy. I know I'm repeating myself, but I have to because I literally cannot believe he's that cute. He does look good next to the adult and the land speeder with the rest of the figures. Super cool. Huge shout out to Stan Solo for continually knocking things out of the park, giving us collectors fun, awesome things to collect that fit in with the rest of our Star Wars toys. And a big shout out to Foxfire Toys for sending this guy my way. Can't thank you enough. Very cool of you. I'm super stoked to be able to once again add another piece into my vintage Star Wars collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I want to let you guys know that I have a lot of other Stan Solo goodies that I'm going to show off on the channel in the coming weeks. I have boxes of toys that I have yet to review, so stay tuned for those reviews. And I also want to let you guys know that I have a special passion project that I've completed, something within my collection that I've been wanting to complete. I finally got the last piece, so I'm going to share that special video with you guys very soon. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this content and if you did please share it and give the old like button a thumbs up to support the channel and if you've not already done so blast that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content and remember collect or collect not there is no try